Once if you download the SolarWinds user import tool, just so open it, open the first Active Directory. So choose Active Directory users and computers in your machine and click it. So Active Directory window will be open and you are able to see the list of Active Directories and folders available. Over there you can click the new user group folder icon and you are able to create the new one. I am trying to create a new object. The name is uh, Gaming Students and I am trying to create IT Students. I created two objects. You are able to see the folders here. It's created. Once if it is created, just go back to your Excel sheet. This is the Excel sheet you will be received from the existing server. So the overall concept which I am trying to do is like the users and their access rights available in the existing server I'm trying to navigate or move to the new server so I got the data in an excel sheet and now I'm converting into a CSV so file save as make it as a CSV file format in excel once if you got your CSV file now just open your user import tool So this is the home page of your user import tool and you are able to see the import from option here. You can select the file. Select the CSV file which we have selected and afterwards provide the domain controller and username and password of your server machine. So active directory, what is the active directory name and username and password of the server and clicking the test credentials you are able to validate whether the username and passwords are correct and afterwards I click next. Once if you click next, automatically the data from this particular CSV file is started, imported into the tool. You are able to see these are the data or field available in that Excel. Your name, surname and other things, password and everything. Over here in the destination, we don't have the proper options. So we got an option of selecting only the particular fields to be added considering I want 1, 2, 3, only 4 fields I want. In that case, I can add those 4 fields here. Type it, add, type it, add or you can search. The search option will give all the fields, select it and add. Once if it is added, you are able to map the attributes. Click the particular field. Click the particular field and map it. So now I've tried to add a lot of fields. You are able to see previously I don't have I got only three fields. Now I got more fields now which I've added now. Given name, given name, display name, display name, surname, surname. And afterwards we need to map a from one to column. So click here display name, click here display name, map attributes and you need to provide the attributes the mapping attribute name and save it and after mapping the field <coughs> click next so the mapped files are ready to go you need to provide the active directory name the object name and the username and password if we need once if you click it, click next button automatically you are able to see the entire files are imported or data is imported into the active directory here you are able to see gaming student you are able to see it here so in the user import tool you are able to see the gaming student here so automatically the entire things are imported into the active directory this is how the solar winds user import tool work I say thanks for watching our Wikitechi videos. If you're looking for more videos on technology, go to YouTube Wikitechi Technology Tutorials. If it is school, it's Wikitechi School on YouTube. And for interview, it's Wikitechi Interview Tips. And apart from this, if you love our videos, just subscribe to our YouTube channel. And apart from this, like uh, this is our website. You can check all the technical contents on our website. And finally, if you're looking for more videos from us. You can include our WhatsApp number in your WhatsApp group. So that we will be sending a lot of technical videos in the WhatsApp groups. 
You can post your questions, queries or doubts and also you comment it in our YouTube video so that our expert team will answer it. And here is our website and this is our Facebook URL. Thank you from mikitegi.com.